Hey guys, and welcome to my third episode, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, in this one, you will be glad to know that I will be showing you how to customize your Ubuntu desktop. It's going to be kind of a long chapter, so let's go ahead and go. I'll start with the typical thing one user might want to change the background. Simply right click on the background, press change desktop background, and it'll pop up with a few um, backgrounds that are by default installed into Ubuntu. There they are. Some of these you might not have, like these colors up here, but basically most of these are pre-installed with Ubuntu. It's as simple as just clicking on whichever one you like, and it changes it automatically. There's also a feature where you can change, you can use a slideshow as a background. It's not completely functional yet, as of 9.10, but when it comes to 10.4, 10.04, it might be pretty useful. <coughs> but that's how you set it. Let me show you how to add it. Down here we have a little button called Add. We're gonna go ahead and press that. Now I don't have any user pictures in here, but I'm gonna take it from my other account. I'm gonna show you. There's a picture right here I have of my little sister. I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And that's how you import a picture. And I'll show you how to adjust this to fit your screen. Of course, this is a bit too big and not you know doesn't work very well so we're gonna go ahead and change around a little settings we have a style of which is tiled zoom centered scaled and fill screen if you just click on scale it'll m make the best fit of the picture to your screen you see how we have space on the side and I like to have a nice flow with my pictures and background so I'm gonna change my background by clicking on the colors right here <coughs> then I click on this little eye drop and then I can click anywhere on the screen to pick a color I'm just gonna go ahead and pick over here the white which is basically a complete white but isn't in the case that shows you how you can pick a color from the screen you can pick any color on the desktop <coughs> alright so there you go that's your background you can get more backgrounds online and you can of course change or remove backgrounds that are already added you can also do a certain uh, uh, gradient with your colors you can have different colors uh, white to this color here brownish whatever that is you can have a horizontal or vertical I like it just nice and white, solid color matches the whole picture, and that's the backgrounds. In themes, you can actually change the window border. Uh, you will not get bored of your window border anymore. It's not going to be the same thing because you're going to have the ability to change as much as you want. A few of these come pre-installed pre with Ubuntu, some of these might not, like these down here. Or the elementary, it won't be pre-installed, but you have all the other ones like dust, dark room, dust sand, and you can just click on whichever one you like and it'll automatically change it for you <coughs> now you can also customize more thoroughly I'm gonna go ahead and click in clear looks you can customize more thoroughly by clicking on this customize button here you can change the button look you see this button this uh, scroll bar how it changes with each pick you can change how you can see how everything is changing so I'm gonna pick that we have you can change the colors of the border and other pieces of information uh, the co this is going to change this is the selected items this color this is going to change anything that you've select uh, basically this border here or this window is selected so the border is going to change color and this background you can see how it's a blue tint when I am selecting multiple items I'm going to go ahead and click OK you can see the border change to a reddish tint and you can see my selection also change now to make it you know more direct with the picture I'm going to go ahead and click on it again I'm going to use the eye drop right here and just pick a nice color somewhere right not too dark not too light right there should be good <coughs> you can see now my border is a nice shade that matches somewhat the picture and you can do also window borders you can change the way the window border looks directly and you can do icons and uh, I'm going to go ahead and change it to mm, the basic one which is humanity I believe and then you can also change the pointer which will be updated after you can change the size of it too which will be updated after you restart the computer or just log out and log back in that's the basics on how to change your look on your desktop or your windows you can also change the font of your whole system yes you can change your font a lot of systems don't have this uh, basically for the eyes a lot of people don't like you know changing fonts and then getting confused on how to change it back but it's just as simple as application fonts, document fonts, desktop fonts, window title fonts, and fixed width font. This top one you can go ahead and change to anything you would like. Um, like this for instance. You can see a sort of 
new font which looks really really crappy uh, and just some fonts are just made to not be right looked at so long well, this one is decent but still too bulky but you can you know play around get to know the fonts kinda get an idea of what what is that's too tiny I'm gonna stick with sans where is sans I like my sans <coughs> but again you can change the font size cursive etc you can change it for all these things you can also do a uh, somewhat of a monitor dependent setting here depending on the monitor one of these will look better on your computer Mine happens to be the LCD because I do have an LCD screen. Uh, of course, you have best shapes, best contrast, and monochrome. Next piece is the interface. Now, a lot of applications will go by this setting here. You can change the idea of how your windows or your settings on the top of the bar will look. For instance, we can see how there's text beside the icon. Uh, again, here's the file, here's the edits, and here's the icons underneath those. Now, we can do icons only. We can do text only. We can do text below items, and so on and so forth. Basically, um, as an example, I don't, this application doesn't actually work with this, but you can see what I'm trying to explain here once that opens. You can see right here, these icons are now, these, I, these are the icons I'm talking about. I don't believe they actually change in this program. But some some programs actually let you customize it them way, but this program not. But these icons would have either a text next to them, icon next to them, etc. and so forth. And that's a, that's pretty much the interface to, to customize. It's not that thorough, but it's decent amount. You can do show icons, a menu, editable menu shortcuts, etc. And last but not least is the visual effects. I'll be doing a more thorough examination of this area here. For now, you will not have the custom. You'll have normal none and extra. Normal gives you a decent amount. Uh, you can see the sort of fading window to the corner. You can see kind of how it moves. I don't know if the video can capture that. But it gives you small animations, just enough to give you a little pleasing um, eye candy. But extras actually enables a few other somewhat pointless, but some people might find this quite interesting. You can, uh, there's wobbly windows. You can, you know, they're pretty wobbly here and there. There's no point to them really, but some people like them. I kind of find them annoying. But that's just not it. There's a lot of other things that I will show you later on. For now, this is going to be all I'm going to show you. I'm going to stick it to normal. And thank you for watching my second video, or sorry, third video. And I will see you in the fourth video where I'll be doing more of a 3D focused uh, for, my, for the 3D graphics. Thank you and goodbye.